that you've all been waiting for. Please welcome your catchphrase host, Chris King. What, what do you mean I've put on weight since we last did this show? Look, leave the jacket. Oh, the mic up. Hi, how are you? How's every? How's everything? Nice to see you all. My name's Chris King. I am going to be your host for the game show section of tonight. Uh, we're all here because of the power of AI and the work BJSS does in enhancing that power with our partners. But we're also here thanks to this great man. Put your hands up if you don't know who that man is. Okay, so... Uh, it could be in for an interesting night because therefore I'm not sure everyone is going to know who, what catchphrase is. Uh, so if we have a few blank faces and uh, Mr. Chips, I'm going to have to try and work through that. And by the way, if I see, say Mr. Chips, that's that golden character waving like that. But who I mean when I talk about Mr. Chips is the brilliant colleagues I've got who have helped put this evening together. I am the showbiz to their business biz. I know. <laughs> I'm in a room talking about AI. What do you expect? <laughs> so what is Catchphrase? Catchphrase was a light entertainment show broadcast by our partners ITV. It was based on the concept of familiar sayings, phrases, or idioms from the English language. But are we really sure about that? Part of the appeal of the show was in the fact that we, the television audience, who could, uh, would sit at home laughing at the contestants who couldn't get the painfully obvious phrase that they were grasping for. Idioms can be a universal problem. When we started building the AI Azure tool we are using tonight, we didn't think we needed to select which language to choose, because it comes with English American by default. And it still does in some cases, which has made our life completely hard, hasn't it, Mr. Chips? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> No matter how we tried, we found idioms proved to be a stumbling block based on the different names we call certain things. So we had to rethink our approach uh, and change the language to reflect the meaning. Much as we would if we were confused by a mouthful of teeth, meaning speechless in Dutch. And I have our Dutch Mr. Chips to thank for that. We're going to use a couple of good phrases, or familiar phrases, not for those, apologies, not for those that don't know what cash phrase is. We're going to say what you see. Basically, just shout out anything that comes to mind when we go through the game. The other phrase is, it's good, but it's not right. And I think I've just been given a tenner there for not doing the accents. So uh, that's really good, yes. Uh, but the thing is, it's good, it's not right was the worst business speak ever. Because Roy would politely say to a contestant, who gave the most stupid answer you could imagine. It's good, but it's not right. It wasn't good, Roy. It really was not good. So how are we gonna play? We'll play three or four rounds, depending on how quickly we get the answers. And I can already see from the people in the room that we've got the sharpest minds in Leeds uh, in front of me. So it shouldn't take that long. Each round will consist of an image covered up by nine squares, rectangles, but I've been told to call them squares. I'll ask you, my human contestants, to pick a square to remove. We'll then see an image behind it, as you can see on the screen now. AI, at the same time, the image will be shared with our artificial intelligent uh, contestant. And I'm gonna let uh, Mike and Aidan uh, explain how we did that. I'll ask you to say what you see. At the same time, Mr. Chips will be monitoring the responses from the uh, AI tool, which will appear in a blue bubble on the screen. There is a risk that they will get it quicker than you will, so you have to be really sharp about this. We'll continue to remove a different square until eventually we find a winner. First contestant, human or AI, to guess the right answer, wins that round. Is that clear? Yes. <laughs> Is that clear? Yes. There we go, brilliant. Now let's warm you up as you are my favourites. With practice round to see who knows their idioms from their idiots, sorry, not idiots. Well, maybe those who are good, but not right. AI won't see this one, but can anyone guess what their idiom is based on my brilliant artistic talent? Oh, 
Oh, Bob your uncle, yes. For those that don't know, and people told me they wouldn't know, that is Bob the Builder, and that is Scar, and he is an uncle. Bob is an uncle. So, let's get ready to play the next round. All right, that's enough of that nonsense. Okay, Mr. Chips, bring up the game board. Someone shout out a square to remove. The middle one, please, Mr. Chips. That's AI thinking. What do we think that image says? Remember, don't be proud. Shout out your worst things that come into your head as soon as they do. The tree of life? Family. The tree? Family tree. Someone said family tree, Mr. Chips. Would you like to reveal the image? A blurry image of a blue tie is what AI thought. Yeah. So at this point, I remind you that you're playing an AI tool that's never heard a catchphrase before. So, so temper your enthusiasm. Uh, give, give me another square to remove. Middle. Pardon? Middle again. Middle again. Middle again. Thinking. I do that face as a delivery manager. What do you mean it's going to take you three months to do? Any, any ideas? Uh, mm, says AI, which I think is uh, Polish or Swedish. Uh, let's crack on. Next slide. Next square, I mean. Top right. Top, top right. <laughs> Still on. Bit of blue sky thinking, maybe, Mr. Chips. Next square, please. Bottom right. Junk mail. Can we please reveal the game board? Junk mail, yes. Yes. And one final one before uh, my time is up. Square, please. Pardon? Middle top. Any, uh, a white cloud in the sky, <laughs> which is the name of my new single, available on 7-inch from Monday morning. Carry on. Next square, please. Middle. Middle. Bit more enthusiasm with your middles, please. Uh, I give up. <laughs> Who knew I was AI? <laughs> right, next one. Left middle, did I hear left middle? Yes, yes I did hear left middle. <coughs> oh, a cartoon of a fish. It's all pilchards to me. Fish out of water. Fish out of water. Uh, Mr. Chips is looking at me and saying, it's good, <laughs> but it's not right. <laughs> next square, please. Middle right. Middle right. See, that, that's the level of enthusiasm we want off that middle. Come on, come on, AI, you can do it. Still a fish. Still a fish. Well known English phrase. Yeah, a well known English phrase. Top left. Top left. <coughs> Honestly, keep getting the. <laughs> sub... Fish, what, sorry? Fish tank. Oh, I was getting paid by the minute, yeah? Is it fish tank? It is fish tank. Uh, and as you can see by the eventual answer, the eventual answer AI still thinks is a cartoon of a fish on a tank. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, I've been Chris King. You've been, you've been reasonable. And I'll, now I'm going to hand over to Ashley. So. Thank you and good night. Woo!